Hello and welcome to this week's Bolsover TV. Here's what's coming up on the program. A new artisan market is coming to Bolsover to encourage more people to visit the town. A country inn near Tibshelf is throwing open its doors to welcome old and new customers. Members from Bolsover Woodlands took part in a range of activities as they enjoyed a day out team building. And after storms Dudley, Eunice and Franklin, we look on the bright side and take a tour of the district to see what it has on offer. But first, social and community groups across the district are on the decline. Over the past two years, the opportunity to meet face to face has virtually disappeared and the chance to raise valuable funds has dwindled, meaning that these vital groups are now becoming less common. Helping Hands in Clown are currently the only group in the area available for elderly residents to meet and socialise. But after nearly 40 years in existence, they're finding it hard to make ends meet. And with rising costs for transport and room hire, unless they can raise vital funds soon, the group may be forced to close. This reiterates Council Leader Steve Fritchley's fears when in 2020 he highlighted the fact that the pandemic had made people lonely and feeling isolated and that there was simply no substitute for attending a group, meeting new friends and having a good old-fashioned cup of tea. We went along to one of the group's regular social events to find out how much the group means to those who go every single week. I just really want to find out why you come and, and, and how long you've been coming for and that kind of thing. Let's see, um, 11 years now I've really? been to this club, yes. We come just because we're on our own and it's, uh, it's company to wow. get out of the house. And you come here every Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah. Why'd you, why'd you come here? Oh, it's a game. You can win money, do day trips out. I mean, uh, and that sort of thing. And there's company when you live on your own. Yeah. yeah. Why do you why do you keep coming? Why have you come for so long? Because I'm the warm and think all the people that come, they're all good company, you know. And uh, and a favourite game too. I've seen plenty of games going on today. Yeah, bingo. Yeah. I don't mind a game of bingo. <laughs> it's only day I get out of the two. Do you have a set routine? Do you always play bingo and then the raffle or we have, yeah. it's the same routine every mm. night? Nice. Yeah. nice, that's nice. And then so. we have that's a nice. Cup of, we do this, then we have a nice cup of tea or coffee and a biscuit. Lovely. And then <laughs> Lovely. Where do I sign up? That sounds amazing. We have a laugh. And that's, and that's the main thing. And that's why you keep coming for 11 years, yes. isn't it? Yes, it is. What would you say to any like new members who perhaps want to come? What would you say to them? Well, they, they, they're more than welcome, you know, because they're beautiful people. Two of us just joined join and as they only come these last two weeks. So yeah. we've got two more that's come there. So amazing. hopefully, if words get around, we have more. We are trying to get new members um, to cover our costs and what we have to pay out. Because at the moment, what we're paying out, we can't really, we're not taking in. Yeah. And um, so the more members we get, the better it will be. They're a great bunch. They're very friendly and, and they're very helpful. They help, we all help each other and we do things. So anybody that wants to join, they're more than welcome. It's a friendly club, a happy club. And, you know, like I say, I want to keep it going. Now, a new monthly artisan market is set to come to Bolsover with creative makers, artists and food produce being showcased in the town, selling everything from handmade cakes to pâtés and locally grown veg to eco-friendly products and crafts. The market will take place on the first Saturday of every month in the town. The aim is to attract more people to the area, to encourage them to spend time visiting local attractions and other shops and see what else that the district has to offer. Local councillor Liz Smith told us why the market was a welcome addition to the town and how important it was to the local economy. Why are events and, and activities and markets like this important to, to Bolsover? Well, it's been a really tough couple of years. We know that uh, footfall on the high streets hasn't been what it was, um, for obvious reasons, but it's time now to get back into our high streets. And I just think that this artisan market is a really good opportunity of showcasing not only the local produce, the local crafts, but also the amazing shops and independent retailers that we've got in our town. 
but also it's brilliant for the residents of the town. It gives them a reason to come into the town centre and it also gives our visitor economy a bit of a boost. It's going to be on the first Saturday of every month uh, between 10 o'clock and 3.30 in the afternoon. So it's going to get balls over buzzing on a Saturday. Individuals from Boltover Woodlands Enterprise Limited took part in a team building session at the council's Go Active Leisure Facility, enjoying a whole range of different activities. The members had a fun afternoon discussing what makes a good teamwork and putting their skills into practice, taking part in a range of activities, including relay races, dodgeball and crazy golf. A new pick and mix session is starting on the 2nd of March from 10am until 12 noon for individuals age 50 plus. Held at Bolsover Assembly Rooms, various activities will be available for people to participate in, including table tennis, shuffleboard and board games. Teas and coffees are also available and no previous playing experience is required. Now, most people throughout the district will at some point either called in or driven past the shoulder at Hardstoft. It's a delightful country pub that not only offers a wide range of beers and good quality food, but accommodation as well. This 300 year old coach house has recently been refurbished and is now under new management and offers a great evening with good food, good drink and definitely good company too. We caught up with the management to see what customers and guests can expect when they cross the threshold. We offer all the guests an uh, amazing experience, a unique experience. Um, so uh, we have a nice uh, wide range of cocktails. I'm a cocktail mixologist, so I create a nice cocktail list. Uh, I can do food and wine pairing, so we have a nice uh, wide range of uh, wines. Uh, all the food is fresh, it's homemade. Uh, we uh, Supply everything from the local butcher, from uh, local suppliers. Yeah, but we are very proud to achieve yes. five star on food hygiene now and uh, amazing dishes. Everything looks like fine dining. Uh, also, a good size, uh, same as you expect in a pub. We have all the traditional um, meals like uh, pies, uh, pie of the day, fish and chips. You have burgers and you have also nice um, scallops, sea bass. And we have everything. We don't have just the restaurant and the bar. We have a function room. We just had recently a wedding over there, so we want to carry on with weddings, every, any party that people would like to have here. And we can do everything. So people can stay overnight. Exactly. Well as, uh, you can well come. We are a dog friendly pub, so they could come with their dog, they could come with their big family. Uh, we are family orientated, so. They have kids and dogs and it's, it's nice. We also try to attract as many events, live music, even weekly if it's possible and if people like it and they want it then we can we, we work on that, we do that. This is the new project, the fresh start for us and hopefully everything will be, will be good, all the local supporters so far and uh, we're really proud of. Yeah, I have to say that the locals are amazing. amazing yeah. Yes, they do, are. they are amazing. And finally, with all the wet and windy weather we've been having recently, we thought we could show off what Bolsover District has to offer in slightly better weather conditions. So on those rare sunny days we had last year, we joined up with our drones operator Lee's Hover Vision and we went out and about across the district to see what's happening and what people can do in the area. I hope you enjoy.
And it really does amaze me how much there is to see and do across this fantastic district of ours. But I'm afraid, sadly, that's all we've got time for this week. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I look forward to seeing you next week on Bolsover TV, where I'll be taking in the calmness and relaxation of restorative yoga at Plesley Vale. Goodbye for now. <laughs>